Now this question looks pretty hard, but in actual fact, um, it's a relatively uh, easy question if you know the following formulae and you know how to split the series. Now in actual fact, even though we're dealing with a quadratic here, times uh, NCR combo, it works for any polynomial um, once you know the formulae. So first of all, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to just state the three formulae, uh, then I'm gonna do uh, an example, uh, and then I'm gonna prove the three formulae for those who are so interested. Okay, so let's just state them. Uh, so number one, uh, the sum between uh, r equals zero and n of ncr is two to the n. Well, that, that one's quite well known. Um, and I'll, again, I'll prove these all later. Number two, the sum between r equals zero and n of n times ncr is equal to n times two to the n minus one. Uh, and the third one, uh, which is the sum between r equals zero and n of n squared. Uh, sorry, that will be uh, r, and that will be r squared. My apologies. r squared times n c r equals n n plus one two to the n minus two. So with these three formulae, what we can do, and by the way, I mean if if you wanted to, you could you could work out for uh, r cubed or r to the 4 or r to the 5 or whatever once we have the sum of ncr the sum of r times ncr and the sum of r squared times ncr we can split any quadratic uh, into the sum of ar squared times ncr add the sum of br times ncr add the sum of c times ncr using these three formulas. So what we'll do is we'll do an example. Um, so here we go, let's uh, just use an example here. So let's say for example, the sum between uh, r equals zero and n of two r squared minus four r add six times ncr. So we have to sum this uh, between r equals zero and n. Okay, well what we're gonna do is we're gonna split it into three sums. That would be the sum between n r equals zero and n of 2r squared ncr add the sum between r equals 0 and n well and in this case it would be minus because that's a minus there minus 4r ncr and then plus the sum between n and r equals 0 of 6 ncr and we can take the constants out uh, and then put the formulae in. So that equals, uh, for the first one, we can take the two out, uh, and we know that the sum of r squared ncr between r and zero is n, n plus one, two to the n minus two. That's the formula which I am gonna prove uh, presently. Uh, and then here, we can take the four out here, that'd be minus four, and that will leave us with the sum of r ncr, which we know is n, times two to the n minus one, which again, I will prove presently. And then here we can take the six out, and then we're left with simply with the sum between r equals zero and n of ncr, uh, which we know is uh, two to the n. Uh, and if we just uh, clarify all of this a little bit, so that would be two to the n minus one uh, times by, if we take two to the n minus one, that will leave us with n, n plus one here, uh, minus four n add 12, because that's two times two to the n minus one, which equals two to the n minus one, uh, n squared minus three n add 12. So there is the solution to this um, summation. So it's not difficult, it doesn't matter what the quadratic is, and indeed it could be a cubic or a quartic or whatever, all you do is you split it like this, uh, as long as you know the formulae. Now you can either, in an exam, just remember these three formulae, um, or you can you can actually try and derive them. So let, let, let's derive them anyway. So um, uh, what we're going to do, uh, we're going to give the three proofs. So first of all, uh, let's have a look at uh, 1 plus x to the power of n. Okay, that's the, the basic binomial expansion. nc0 add nc1x add nc2x squared. This is the, the basic uh, add nc n minus 1 x to the n minus 1, add n, c, n, x to the n. Okay, um, now the first one, the first one that we, if we just put x equals 1 here, then we get 2 to the n equals um, the sum of all of 
uh, and is NC0 add, well, X will be 1 here, NC1 add, well, X will be uh, 1, makes X squared is 1, NC2 add, da da da, NC n minus 1 add NCN, which equals the sum uh, between R equals 0 and N of NCR. So we already have that the sum of uh, between R equals 0 and N of NCR is 2 to the R. That one is, is very easy to prove. Okay, now let's go back to this formula here and let's differentiate it. So that gives us n times 1 plus x to the n minus 1 equals, well, nc0 is a constant, so that disappears. nc1x just leaves us with 1nc1. Uh, nc2x squared, I'm now differentiating this one, is add 2nc2x, add, da, 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 and let's differentiate this one, would be n minus 1 nc n minus 1 x to the n minus 2 uh, and then the final one would be add uh, n nc n x to the n minus 1 now if we multiply this by uh, well sorry now if we put x equals to 1 again then we get n times 1 plus 1 to the n minus 1 equals um, now, we could add in here 0 nc0, 0, 0 times anything is 0, so adding 0 to something doesn't make any difference. Add 1 ncn, 1, add 2 nc2, again x will become 1, add da 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 da, add n minus 1 nc n minus 1, add nc n, and that there is equal to the sum between r equals 0 and n of r. N C R. So we have now proved that the sum between R equals 0 and N of R N C R is equal to N times 2 to the N minus 1. So that's the second one proved. Okay, so now let's um, take this equation here and multiply both sides by X. So we get X N 1 plus X to the N minus 1 equals um, 1 times nc1x, we're multiplying both sides by x, add 2nc2x squared, add da 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 da, add n minus 1 nc n minus 1x to the n minus 1, add n nc nx to the n. All I've done is I've multiplied this equation here, both sides, by x. And now if we differentiate again, uh, we'll have to differentiate this using the product rule so that will be we can take n out so that'll be n times let's differentiate now that will be uh, udv uh, plus vdu that will be x uh, n minus 1 1 plus x to the n minus 2 add 1 add x to the n minus 1 that is just differentiating this by the product rule equals and again here um, we're going to have a uh, 1 times 1 nc1 x to the 0 I'm just differentiating that add 2 times 2 nc2 x add da, 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 and this when we differentiate this n minus 1 squared nc n minus 1 x to the n minus 2 add n squared this last term differentiating it nc n x to the n minus 1 and again if we put in x equal to 1, <coughs> excuse me, if we put x equals to 1, then we get, uh, where are we, put x equals 1, we get n, n minus 1, times 2 to the n minus 2, add 2 to the n minus 1, all I'm doing is I'm putting x equals to 1 there, and then putting x equals to 1 on the other side, and we can add in this other term, 0 squared nc0, again 0 squared is 0, so that is 0, so it doesn't make any difference, add, 1 squared nc1, add, 2 squared nc2, add, da, 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 n minus 1 squared nc n minus 1, because we're putting x equal to 1 in, in here, add n squared nc n. And now if we look at this final uh, one here, and we just tidy it up a little bit, take 2 to the n minus 2 out, so that gives us 2 to the n minus 2 times n, n minus 1 add 2, all I'm doing is just tidying this bit up here, equals, uh, and here we have 
0 squared nc0 and 1 squared nc1 and 2 squared nc2, which is the sum between r equals 0 and n of r squared ncr. And just tidying that up there will be as 2 to the n minus 2 n, n plus 1 equals the sum between r equals 0 and n of r squared ncr. Now, so we've proved the three formulae that I stated at the top. If you wanted to prove the, the formulae for uh, the sum between r equals 0 and n of r cubed ncr, all you would have to do is differentiate. Uh, well, you'd have to multiply this one here by x and then differentiate again, and that would end up giving you the sum between r equals 0 and n of r cubed ncr. I have rarely seen this one in an exam, so I think if you concentrate on, on the first three formulae uh, and how to split um, like this, then you should be okay, hopefully. Hope you've enjoyed this. Um, if you have, please subscribe to the Gresty YouTube channel. Thank you.